Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here from My Favorite Things. Today I'm showing you how to create a pizza box for the fun Pizza Maker Dynamic set. So let's get started. First, I cut a panel of craft cardstock to 4 by 7 and 3 quarters. On the long side of the panel, I score it at a quarter inch, 3 and a half, 3 and 3 quarters, and 6 and 3 quarters to create two 3 and a half inch squares separated by a quarter inch score line. On the short side of the panel, I score it at a quarter of an inch and three and three quarters to create a quarter inch score line around the entire panel. You can see this more clearly on the template on white cardstock. Next, I trim off a quarter inch off both sides of the top of the panel following my score lines. I fold and score all the lines with my bone folder to get nice sharp creases. Next, I cut four notches on the bottom of the panel so that the sides of my box will easily fold up. I add little pieces of score tape to each notch, fold up the sides, and seal to create the bottom of my pizza box. Then I trim a little off the edges of my box lid so that it fits more easily into the box. I mark the center of the lid and use a quarter inch punch to create a hole so that it even looks more like a pizza lid. Next I die cut all the pieces of my pizza using the Pizza Maker Dynamics. I use electric red cardstock for the sauce and pepperoni, jelly bean green for the peppers, black licorice for the olives, lemon chiffon for the pineapple, natural for the crust, and primitive cream for the mushrooms and cheese. I blend a little tea dye distress oxide ink around the edges of the crust and add some darker spots with gathered twigs distress oxide ink. Then I blend it back out with a tea dye for a smoother finish. I blend antique linen onto the cheese, keeping it darker towards the edges and softer in the middle.
I used Copic markers in R35, R37, and R39 to add shading for the sauce and pepperoni. I used Y19, Y15, and Y11 for the pineapple. G24 and G29 for the green peppers. and E40, E70, E71, and E74 for the mushrooms. Once I was done creating my pizza, I trimmed a piece of pattern paper from the sweet stack paper pad to a diagonal strip and adhered it to a white card base. Next, I stamped a sentiment from Pizza My Heart with Versafine and heat embossed it with clear embossing powder. I trimmed it down to a thin label for the lid of my pizza box. Then I adhered my pizza together using a mix of ATG and liquid adhesive. Once my pizza was assembled, I cut out a slice. I adhered my pizza inside the box and then added the sentiment pizza slice and a few leftover toppings to the top of the box. Finally, I adhered the box to the pattern paper to finish the card.
Off camera, I added a few more toppings to the inside of the pizza box because of course they always fall off and used another pizza and the same pattern paper to create a flatter card without the box. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed my card and it gives you some inspiration for your pizza crafting. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting. Bye.